Hello everyone. I welcome all of you to BISP Self Learning Video Broadcast Solutions. My name is Sumit Goyal and today I will be going to tell you how to flag a specific section in Dynamic CRM using a JavaScript. So first let's understand what do you mean by flagging and then we'll see how to perform that flagging on a Dynamic CRM using JavaScript. So what do you mean by flagging? So flagging means marking a particular section of a form in a format so that it will be get a special attention of the user. So as you can see here that's my business requirement. So in this, this is a form and in this we have a section, highlighted section and the fields are in this particular section is we have account number and account rating. So it's a very important section for me. So I would like that this section will be marked as important so that user will get, uh, this section will get a special attention from the user. So I would like to mark this section like this in the form, uh, in this, in any of the color so that you, uh, this section will get a special attention from the user and user will be, check all these fields regularly whenever he open a particular record. So let's see how to perform this in dynamic CRM. So for doing this, let's switch to dynamic CRM first. So this is my dynamic, dynamic CRM. I have already logged in into my CRM. Now, first let's go to sales. In sales, switch to accounts. And in accounts, if I'll open any of the record or if I click on any record, the record will open and we'll be able to see the details of that particular record or further details. So in this form or in this, uh, in this record you can see that we do not have any section, means there, uh, there are different sections so I would like to add a new section over here and I would like to mark that, mark that section as a, uh, you, by using flagging with the help and by using JavaScript. So let's see how to do this. So first of all we need to add a section over here so to perform that, let's go back, uh, click on this dynamic CRM icon over here, go to settings, in settings, click on solutions. So I'm already on solutions. Here, I click on new to add a new solution. If you have any existing solution, you can already use that, uh, that solution also. And what is a solution? How to work on it? This you can understand through my existing video or my previous video about how to create a solution in dynamic CRM. Here I add a new, uh, I add a given display name, so selection status and the publisher will be the default publisher. There will be no need to enter any configuration page or set a configuration page. Version is required. So I, add six, I enter 6.1 as a version and click on save. And as soon as I click on save, you'll see the other components, they will be enabled now. Now we'll be able to use these components. So first of all, I would like to click on entities. To know more about entities, please visit my previous video about in, on entities in Dynamic CRM. Then here, click on add existing. From here, select account entity because we would like to add a new section in the account form or account entity. Okay. Here you have to simply click on OK and you will get the entity will be listed over here. Now in this entity you have to click on accounts and here you have to click on forms. Because we have, first of all, we'll, we would be going to add a section in a form. So I select this is the main form. So I click on this form and this, the form properties will open. Now you can see here, this is the form property. We can design a form. We can add a section. We can remove any particular section. Now I would like to add a new section over here. So for this, I click on insert section and add one section. So this section will be added at the end. So we can change the position of that section. I'll move it before the address just after this main section, account information section and 
before the address section. And in this section, I would like to add few fields like the account number, so drag and drop, and account rating, so account rating. And I would like to change the heading of this section, so I double click on this, and we can change the name and the label of this section, so highlighted underscore section because it's a name so name cannot be blank there will be no blank space or space between two words so uh, that's why I added one underscore and this label highlighted section you need to check this and click on OK so once you clicked on OK click on save and once saved after that click on publish so once it is published you will be able to see the same thing whether the section has been added or not so we can switch to sales account and we can open any record and uh, we will be able to see that particular section has been added in the form or not so you can see the section has been added as a highlighted section account number and account rating and they will be getting the default values now I would like to mark this section as an important section so for this we'll again go back to solutions so let me close this save and close and uh, again go to click on settings we are on solutions right now and this is a solution is already open so in this solution now we will be going to add a web resource so I click on web resources new and here we will be going to add a new web resource so add a new web resource let's say javascript or js js highlighted section display name will be js highlighted section type will be javascript type so I select javascript language default language English now we need to upload a file or either you can enter the text over here also so to know more about web resources and to, more about, to know more about JavaScript you can visit my previous videos on JavaScript so I have already created a JavaScript code so this is my JavaScript code now in this JavaScript code this is the code like as you can see here we have a function this is the function name and one parameter document.getElementById and this we need the ID basically the ID is required so I would be I will be going to tell you that how to get the ID of that particular section so to get the ID of a section we need to so for this to get the ID of any section uh, again I'll go back to forms I switch to forms over here and here account main form open it then here this section I would like to know the idea of this particular section so here you have to press F12 key and when you press F12 key you will get this developer tool and in this developer tool we will be able to find out the we have to find out that particular section so so you can see here I have search I enter the search keyword for highlighted section and uh, this will be the highlighted section over here so let's see uh, or we can click on element source also here also we can search for highlighted section highlighted section you can see here this is the highlighted section section name 
and here we have to get the ID so this is the ID of that particular section so I copy this ID from here I copy this ID and paste in the JavaScript code so this is the ID so once the ID is entered I save this code as a JavaScript page so I saved it as a JavaScript now I switch back to solutions and in solutions I switch back to web resources and web resources I'll I'm uploading the file so the, the file name is check one dot JS so I already saved that file as a check one you can save and check the text editor you can once after saving you can click on text editor to check the code is same or not so you can see this this is the code and after that you have to click on publish so I click on publish it's publishing publish all customization and then close it so so we have added a section in a form we have added a web resource with a JavaScript code now we have to I would like to execute that JavaScript code on the form load event so for that I again clicked on this form and here I'll go go to form properties I clicked on form properties and on form properties yeah these are the form properties so there is a section over here event so I click on add event or manage or click on add so we'll be going to add the web resource which we created just now so our web resource name is J JavaScript highlighted section this was the web resource which we created just now so select this and add and on which event when uh, we would like to execute that function on form load event so from event here this is on load I add it what is the function name so function name we can copy from here this is the function name highlighted section so add a highlighted section and pass the execution context as a first parameter click on OK and OK and we can close other windows all other windows because we do not we don't need them now I save this click on save and publish so the work is done now we can go back to accounts and open any records and check whether uh, on form load event the JavaScript code is executing or not and if it is properly executing we'll be able to see the section which we have added as a highlighted section so let's go and check this so you can see here we have got an highlighted section through by using JavaScript so like this we can flag a section or we can highlight a particular section of a form using JavaScript so I will be sharing the JavaScript code so this will be your JavaScript code we have a function name uh, with one very uh, with one parameter and this will be the element ID so I hope now you have understood how to get the element ID so element ID is very important or either you can use the element name so in that case if you are aware of JavaScript so you can use that functionality also you can use the function it means you can change the function name but I, I have tried to use the simplest course simplest code as possible so this is how to work on this so that's all from my side if you have any questions your questions are welcome you can visit our website www.bispetrainings.com or you can visit our YouTube channel and subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos on dynamic CRM I will be coming up with some new interesting topics on dynamic CRM till then have a nice day ahead good day